What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Y checking in once again for this weekly sneaker rotation. We're getting, we're getting up there, man. 100 is coming pretty soon. I know, it's gonna be crazy. 100 weekly sneaker rotations. It's not that much longer. But anyway, for this week's weekly sneaker rotation, you are actually watching me uh, a couple days in the past. Let me put my chain out so I can be fresh. There you go. You're watching me a couple days in the past. It's actually Friday. Um, when you're watching me, it's Friday right now. And uh, I will, you know, I'm in LA as we speak, so I had to get this video out Friday to get it to you guys for Sunday. But, um, you know, uh, the shoe for Saturday of this week, which is tomorrow for me, I will be wearing it. So I went ahead and, you know, did my psychic abilities and, and basically brought that shoe to life for Saturday. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into this week's weekly sneaker rotation, man. Let's go. For Sunday, I decided to pull out one of my classic shoes and my favorites, the July 4th shoe that everybody wears. That is the Jordan 7 Olympics. This is a shoe that I need for a Throwback Thursday. I keep forgetting about it, and now I remember. I need this for a Throwback Thursday. This, the Fire Air 4s, and some other shoes I need for my Throwback Thursday. Jordan 7 Olympic, great, great, great colorway. It, you know, it's just the U.S. colorway. You can't go wrong with the blue, red, and white. Red, white, and blue. And then you hit the hint of gold. It's just a, a great colorway. I just hate the plastic ends. I want the metal ends. That's the uh, older version. This is the 2012 version. I think with, I don't know what year that that gold one was in. If you know, leave a comment below. Let me know. The gold tips though, you can't beat it. But this is for Sunday. For Monday, another OG classic that was brought back. What I think last year but still has that plastic tips that I hate, man. That is the Jordan 14 Black Toe. Classic shoe, brought back the OG seamless feel on the side. I loved it. Um, this is a classic colorway, classic kick, the last shot. It wasn't worn in this shoe, but this was the model of the last shot. This year came out last year. I forget my Jordan releases very easily. Cop these though um, at my local Foot Locker. I did a raffle there, and it, it, like it wasn't even needed, but I did the raffle because I didn't want to drive further for these. I did a raffle that I knew I was gonna win. I won it, picked it up, and it was right up the street. You know, it's either go up the street or go a little bit further if you don't get it so easily. But uh, clean kick. Happy they brought it back to life, and black and white. I mean, with the red hint, hint, it's just great. But come on, Jordan, give us some metal, man. Give it. What is this? This is straight plastic, man. Fuck. But this is for Monday. For Tuesday, I had to pull out another OG that was brought back. These came and went fast. That is the Gary Payton, the glove. This is in the black and the white. I also have the white and the black. This is another throwback Thursday I can bring back. But a uh, great shoe. You just got to know how to do your thing with it. You know, um, great kick. I one day have to do a review on it just to bring it back to life. I love it though. I love this one a little bit. I, I like the other one more, but I love this one to wear more because it doesn't have the leather that wrinkles. It's that sock. Like this doesn't wrinkle, but on the leather one, all this gets real wrinkled and it's like they can go bad fast. But this is a classic model that was brought back. Um, and uh, I hope to see more of it, but I would like to see real carbon fiber on it if they bring it back. You know, so I'm like, give me the full thing. But the glove, you can't go wrong. Definitely just something clean to have in my collection that I'm happy to have. And that's the glove. And if it ever comes back with more of the official stuff that came with it, I'll be glad to grab it. But this is for Tuesday, the glove. For Wednesday, I pulled out something that came out a couple years ago. Or what, probably, let me see, well, let me cheat real quick. Where you at? Where you at? The third, 2013? Oh, 2014, okay. And that is the Jordan 11 Low Green Snakeskin, aka the Night Shades. Had to pull these guys out. Haven't given them no love in a minute now. They're sitting in the collection. They've been on the trade block a couple times, the sale block, but uh, I've, I've, I've always told myself just to save them. You know, the snakeskins don't come around that often. You don't see them come around that often. They came out with a lot in the early 2000s in the lows but uh i had to go ahead and just you know keep these and uh they don't wrinkle they stay pretty good like the quality you know and they can take a little a beating you know they don't do as bad on a wrinkling or whatnot so 
that's why um, I still have them to this day. And this is that color pops. And it's definitely a good shoe to wear in the winter with leather. Like, I like my leather stuff. So, I definitely will be getting some looks of these in the winter time more. I'll probably put them back for a little bit. But I did need that neon in my life. So, really, that's 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 the reason why I got it. Because of these hits of this neon. But this is my kick for Wednesday. The Nightshade 11 Lows. For Thursday, one of my favorite shoes of all time. I love this shoe. Classic. Um, 2001, or I think it was the first release. Jordan 11 Low Laney. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I was so happy when these came back out. Uh, they switched up a couple things. They didn't do it too bad though, so it was all it was all good in my opinion. You know, the chunk tongue was a little bit different. It was more of a matted color. I like the the way they did the tongue on this one though. Um, I like the, uh, the the laces, the the oval laces on these fives. I don't like flat lace fives. I like oval lace fives. Um, the material is pretty decent. Um, then during this time, when was this 2001? What, was, what year was this one? I keep, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know my years. This was 2013. 2013, I think, late 2013, maybe early 2014. I don't know for sure. I see it says it was the production ends on July 2013. So. It came out probably six months after, which could be, you know, um, November, January. I don't remember my date, so forgive me. But um, people was, and during that time, people was really mad about the Jordan brand quality. This, it was going crazy on YouTube and everything else. But uh, I used to like the, 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 the tumbleness on this, so I, I love this shoe. But uh, great shoe. It needs a throwback Thursday. It needs a throwback Thursday. That's why it's Thursday, and I'm going to give it a throwback Thursday. This, this is the next shoe that's going to get it. Jordan 5 Laney, Thursday. For Friday today, I did the review yesterday. I have to pull these out at the airport, and that is the Saucony Grid 8000 CL in the black and yellow colorway. Um, I love it. You know, retail at 120. I'll leave the links below, like I did in the video. If you guys want to cop them, it's still available. Some of you guys hate Saucony. I love it. Hey, sue me. You know what it is. Grid 8000 CL, very, very clean kick. Quality is amazing. I give it a thumbs up. Go check it out for yourself. Check the video out. Make sure you leave a like, uh, like button, comment, and subscribe. And just let me know what you guys think on that. This is the Grid 8000 CL Saucony. For Friday, my bad. For Saturday, the last but not least kick is another one. You're going to be like, why? Saucony 8000 CL. I have to wear this one tomorrow. I gotta wear this. This is the this is it. This is what's gonna do it for me. This colorway is the fa my favorite out of that pack. Um, the colorways is great. The gray hit it good. Hit some shorts or hit it with some jeans. They do what they gotta do. They gotta move. How I gotta move. You know, it is what it is. But great colorway, great kick. Give it a thumbs up. Retail 120. Leave a link below if you want to cop them. You know, cop them if you like. If you don't, hold what you got. As my boy Garzilla always told me, and I, I, I held it on to this day. But this ends off this week's weekly sneaker rotation, and this is. Saturday's kick, the Grid 8000 CL. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in for this week's weekly sneaker rotation. Go check out twowildscloud.com. I got two pairs of kicks up for sale. I'm really still sure having to go through all that when I get the time to. Um, been, been working for the sampling industries, this next drop, and just getting everything set up, guys. Like, I'm just, it's, it's a pain, but I'm going to love it, and you guys are going to love it, and you guys are going to understand why we do what we got to do. We do it for you in the motherfucking crew. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's your boy 20 d 2 Wild checking in, checking out. I gotta go. I gotta go meet up with the president, Tony D2 Wild. Fuck that nigga up there, other nigga, Tony D2 Wild. I'm the real Tony D2 Wild, alright? Stop trying me like that. Fuck y'all niggas. Peace. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe.